Ever since the pandemic has started, I have been desperate to go out on the field and try a vehicle for myself. Now, I have been given the opportunity by Sherp and exactly I'm driving the Sherp N1200 and with me is Alexei from Sherp and he'll explain us about the vehicle. This is actually an ATV. It can take on anything you throw at it, be it boulders, be it mud, clay, muck, snow, anything. And Alexei will tell us more about the vehicle. Alexei, can you tell us? Come a little closer. Can you tell us about the tires to start with? Yeah, tires, I would say they are the heart of the vehicle. So it's both steering, it's both transmission, it's both ability, which this vehicle also has. So the tires are connected by these big size air channels. So it's a complete system. So once, some once the tire comes to some obstacle, it will swallow the pressure and distribute it all over the system. So once we lift, all the system has the same pressure uh, at the same time. And there is a reason for that. So basically for reference, our passenger cars like my bike or a car that runs on 30 psi of pressure. This big tire and for reference, it's almost 5 feet inches, like 5 feet 9 inches tall. This one runs on 1.5 psi. That's like very low pressure and it can float on water and there's a reason for that too. This goes 0 0.5 psi on water and these extensions, these protrusions, they act as pedals. So the water is dispersed by the hub which is placed under and apart from that these things act as pedals and the low pressure it gives buoyancy to the vehicle. So it can take on not just tarmac or any land surface that you throw at it, it can also float on water which is something that's amazing. The only complaint that I would have about this is they should have probably fixed a fan on it and it would fly as well. A post-apocalyptic vehicle, Sherp 1200, that is what you build on. Apart from that, let's talk about the engine. So this one. The engine here is actually a uh, Dosan uh, engine, which is a diesel engine, 1.5 diesel engine, which makes a power of 55 uh, bhp and a newton meter torque of 190 newton meters of torque, and all is sent to four wheel. Now, apart from that, the the body, the chassis is made up of uh, Dokol high strength steel. What that means is that it can withstand up to 1000 MPa of pressure or uh, force. Uh, for reference, uh, our basic passenger vehicles, what they can take is 500 uh, MPa and uh, that's actually double for the show. Now we can go and take a look at the inside. So this is basically for the arm, uh, for, for uh, uh, rescue missions, for defense, for border patrolling and this is how it opens up. So there's no, there's not like a door. The latch comes down, the hinges come down and there is a ladder for everyone. The basic layout of the interiors, they remain the same. And what you can do is you can customize it. So if it's for rescue missions, you can uh, see a stretcher over there. And if it's uh, if it's other border patrolling missions, there's bucket seats. Each each of the shop can carry up to nine people. That is including the driver. And you can use a stretcher or uh, the, the basic layout can be uh, uh, made in such a way that you can fix people in. Now, apart from that, uh, if there is anything that goes wrong with the vehicle, be it the engine, uh, and also I want to tell you that the air that goes into these tires can be pumped. That means the tires can be inflated and deflated from inside the cabin itself. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go up ahead of the cabin and we're going to see how this vehicle actually is maneuverable. And also there's a catch. It doesn't have a steering wheel. Let's go. When it comes to driving the Sherp N1200, the revs are locked at 2500 RPM and it takes a little time to getting used to steering this big ATV with levers. But the learning curve is not that steep. On land it can do a top speed of 40 km per hour and on water it moves at 6 km per hour. The wheels are moved by chains submerged in oil, they are lubricated at all times and don't need maintenance. You are so used to having a steering, so that is something that I have to recalibrate. Sure. The main tank can hold up to 95 liters and four separate canisters of fuel in the wheel hub can store 58 liters each which makes a total of 232 liters and a functioning range of 61 hours. We're going to talk about the engine 
and the cockpit basically. Uh, it's a two seater cockpit and uh, uh, it is it has it's it's actually a very Spartan cabin. Uh, there are switches which uh, uh, which are placed uh, on the left side and plus it's actually a left hand drive it's also not road legal and secondly uh, there's a small digital screen which uh, lays out all the important uh, information like the rpm the battery the fuel etc now about the um, engine how it works or the vehicle how it works there are two levers which acts as brake and then there is a, a gas pedal and there's a cl clutch pedal uh, you pull the brake lever of the left uh, left lever harder and it chokes the left tires and the vehicle spins on its own axis so it doesn't make really donuts but it can make small idlis and apart from that uh, what's best about this is that when it uh, uh, swiftly moves on its own axis it gives it gives it enormous uh, maneuverability compared to a normal passenger car now also uh, alexei is going to tell us about how um, how much power does the engine have and it's a 1.5 it's a 1.8 1.8 engine 55 horsepower but this horse is uh, pretty crazy uh, with 190 torque so believe me it's enough to crawl the hills go downs wherever you want to go basically this is a mountain goat and it can go anywhere this just went to the gym a mountain goat went to the gym and this is how it comes out now what i like about these is that it can take on any surface i had a blast of a time uh, driving this and i can show i can surely assure you that how capable this vehicle is uh, the Sharp 1200 and I can see that this would be doing a lot of um, as you can see over there the other Sharp just came in which is my favorite so there's an AC one also available which is uh, and also you can customize it to your own uh, personal preferences that's all about the Sharp check out the CV August magazine for the entire coverage of the Sharp and 1200